Okay, so I just caught up to episode 145 of Boruto Naruto Next Generations of the Hozuki Castle, aka the, what I refer to as the prison arc of Boruto. And this arc, I'm not gonna lie, I've had some problems with. And, and i just be straight up and down with it because I was, first of all, very, very much so looking forward to it. You guys know I made video after video talking about the announcement of this and all of the possibilities. And uh, I was really, really hype about this, but... Upon catching up with this arc, because I had like four or five episodes I caught up with last night, uh, I got a, a bit to say. Let's talk about it. So the highly anticipated Hozuki Castle arc of the Boruto anime. Now again, I was really, really hyped for this because uh, it's supposed to be an expanded version of something that is canon to the manga. In case people don't know, because I've been seeing people say on Twitter, like, oh, how good is it compared to the manga? Right now, all of the episodes we've had of this prison arc, the Hosuki Castle arc, it's still technically filler. It is expanded stuff that is supposed to expand once this escape part or once they get out of the prison, uh, then it'll be connected to some canonical stuff from the manga. So right now it's still technically filler. It's not actually a, a stuff that was in the manga. So that's already something that is like, uh, I mean, I knew it going into it because the description, I was like, wait a minute, Boruto and them never went to prison in, in the manga. What the hell is going on here? So I, I still was giving it the benefit of the doubt. Like, hey, if, if it's going to be uh, connecting and expanding on an idea for from the manga and and adding an extra setting that we didn't have and different circumstances cool shit let's see what they do with it so i remember i watched like the first two episodes of it and i ain't gonna lie i was like mm. so i stopped watching for a bit and then last night i caught up with like three or four of the episodes and um I'm not gonna lie, leading up until, I wanna say it was until 144, 145, where it actually started to grab a little bit of my interest, but prior to that, this arc has been kind of disappointing. It's been pretty damn disappointing. Like some of the stuff that they're doing, like, okay, cause you gotta think this is a prison arc, right? There's a lot of really interesting things that they could do with it. I mean, I've seen some prison anime for crying out loud. Anybody ever seen Rainbow? That is one of the greatest prison anime. That is one of the greatest uh, or one of my favorite anime of all time, period. That's like gotta be in my top 50, top 100 at, at the very least. So there's so many interesting things that you could do with it. But, you know, coming into this, I'm like, okay, so there's one episode where Boruto has to go and steal a light bulb for some dude to get some information. Another episode, they're checking bed sheets for a wooden tag. I'm like, what is this? What the fuck? Like, don't get me wrong. We have the setting set up, right? We have that. They are essentially infiltrating this. They're pretending to be prisoners so that they could protect this guy Kokuri who is essentially innocent and really doesn't have ties with the Mujina bandits like he supposedly is you know part of them but as we get information on what he really did and what's going on he's actually just an innocent dude that uh, is in prison for a misunderstanding essentially and he wasn't really down with the Mujina bandits but somebody's trying to assassinate him in there because he allegedly stole money from them and all of that jazz so it's like okay we got an interesting premise here there's so many things we could do but it just feels as though like it, it was kind of bland like there's a lot of stuff like uh with benga for example which don't get me wrong there was a couple moments from like okay like i think the dude's name was Ke kadama when he's like whipping kadama's ass because he won't give him the information on boruto and them i'm like oh shit all right all right and it's not that i'm craving action or or battles or fights or anything like that because with this type of circumstance in this setting there's so many again interesting plot lines we can go down but it just feels as though at the very least leading up until 144 it was just like boring like it, it just felt uninspired it felt as though there were so many things you could do like the leader of the mujina bandits is in solitary confinement damn near the entire time we're really rolling with just benga being a, a corrupt warden and you know messing with is it name Mujo I want to say uh you know messing with him and uh, eventually like leaving him out for dead which again some elements is like it's all right it's okay I mean having Sada out there as a reporter again it didn't really make much sense like oh you're allowing this little girl to be a reporter at this hardcore prison but whatever we're rolling with it so honestly it was just like pretty damn disappointing leading up onto this the characters aren't all that interesting Kokuri is a sniveling a little um you know not not coward because again he's innocent and all this he shouldn't even be in prison but it's like all right whatever uh Boruto and Mitsuki doing little deeds to just get information it just it was like whatever 144 145 I think it started 
cooking up a little bit like when Benga starts to catch on to like there's something really going on and Sarada confronts him and he tries to get to Sarada and uh, the art and animation was like uh, all of a sudden it went whoa really really good in the little confrontation between Sarada and Benga so I was like okay that's kind of cool I guess whatever because once it gets to that point they're basically trying to escape from the prison because now they realize that things is getting too corrupt uh, Kokuri is not going to be able to get out on parole so they're basically pushing forward to break out and Sarada gets caught up in the crossfire essentially trying to get away from Benga which again I'm like if you know what's going on in the manga right now how the like Sarada really I mean they try oh the ground broke or whatever but she has Sharingan she's a shinobi like I'm just not a fan of this arc <laughs> I'm not gonna lie like even with 144 145 where again they're trying to get out they're, they're they're making preparations to escape from the prison we also have that really big dude I can't even remember his name but he's kind of an interesting character seeing that I guess it's interesting in a way that they're like showcasing different elements of prison like he was looked at as a rat because he was trying to escape and the stuff that happened with Ben guy catching his dude and then blaming him and saying that he was a rat and now him being kind of like I don't want to get involved anymore like everybody looks at me as I'm a snitch or a rat so that was kind of interesting as well but just overall this arc um, I I'm just really waiting for them to get up out of that prison and get to the canon stuff from the manga and not that to be honest with you the Mujina band this arc in the manga wasn't the greatest arc in the world but it was pretty exciting pretty interesting and um, again at least it's canonical to the manga like right now uh, the Boruto prison arc which could have been great it just feels as though it's kind of wasting time. It's like, I don't want to wait a whole episode of them checking freaking bed sheets. I don't want to see Boruto trying to steal a damn light bulb to get some information only to get caught up in shit is like, whatever. I think really Benga is probably one of the only things that has been driving this whole arc. Not even the leader, so-called leader of the Mujina band is that's in uh, solitary. It's Tsukiyo, I want to say. Like, he, he's just been like, okay, he's in solitary trying to strike a deal with Benga. If it wasn't for Benga and him being a corrupt warden, this arc really would have no nothing to it. It would just be a, a boring prison arc. And I, again, I hate to come in here and say that because like this could have been exciting. And there are some interesting elements in there. It's just scattered between just stale like oh they're they're in prison hey and i i guess it's also lacking a certain amount of danger because all the other prisoners they don't have their powers it's like some sort of poison or or some sort of constricting thing that they can't use any type of chakra or anything like that so boruto and mitsuki and, and sarada as well they can still use jutsu they're still like they're, they're basically like walking overpowered beings in there so i don't feel as though like there's a threat to them aside from benga like uh, opposed to you know the blood prison movie where i want to say naruto wasn't able to use any of his powers they had a seal on him that he completely couldn't use any chakra or anything like that these dudes is like what they got to worry about like if kokuri kadama anybody tries to do anything to them They'll just bust out some jutsu and whip their ass. So, like, where's the threat as well uh, on top of the fact that they're in prison? It's like, I should be feeling scared for Boruto in these situations. I should be feeling scared for Mitsuki. Only thing that scares me about them is them being locked up behind those bars, which I'm sure they can use some sort of jutsu. Sada that could go and use a fireball jutsu and burn down the fucking bars of the of the cell. Uh, aside from that, it's like, what, Benga? Like, they'll whip Benga's ass. It was just some stupid circumstances why Sada that got trapped. It's like, there's no imminent threat right here uh, aside from these metal bars that they could really get out if they wanted to so none of the prisoners really can fuck with them what's the point just hopefully um this arc won't last too much longer if they're trying to break out of the prison i'm hoping maybe next three three four episodes max this arc will wrap up or at the very least the prison portion of it and then we'll get out and deal with the real mujina bandit stuff from the manga uh i hope they expand on that but in a better way than they did with this kozuki castle because it just ain't it fam this one ain't it chief curious what you guys think about this one though because i have seen some people defending uh the kozuki castle arc saying no it's exciting and they're they're in enjoying it me personally again my opinion maybe it's just me that i'm jaded i i don't really care to just see boruto and mitsuki and orange jumpsuit behind bars like plotting bed sheets and like ah but maybe you found a silver lining in it again i want to say 144 to 145 it did start to improve a little bit them planning on breaking out and shit like that like that's kind of exciting like let's get the hell up out of kozuki castle let's get on with the true mujina bandits arc any overall thoughts and expectations for the future of the boruto naruto next generations anime it sucks to say this because again i remember even when it was announced in like december how hype i was and like yo they're gonna put them in a setting how this is gonna happen uh but with them having their their chakra with them being able to use jutsu and everything it just doesn't feel dangerous it just feels like you putting superman in, in a normal jail like the county jail is like 
Nani. So that's for this one though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Hit that bell to get all notifications. And if you want to follow any of my other social media, links of course in the description below. I'm from Neverworld, and as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule: anime and manga for life, boy. Have an awesome day. Peace in and Boruto Mitsuki Sarada, get the hell out of jail already. We gotta get moving with this story. Let's get to the real Mujina bandits. Just saying. Everything good always comes to an end. If you stab me in my back, we can never make amends. Trying to move to acceptance, hard to accept it. Mistakes like mirrors, gotta reflect it. I don't wanna fucking leave, but I gotta leave. Leave the maybes to the crazies. Maybe one day we, there I go and man, son, in a subtle way. No more copies, leave without a trace. Last time, I'ma say last time. Moving on to the future, leave the memories as a pastime. Memories always feel like the worst. Letting all the past, leave it in a hearse. Sometimes I wanna lie, but I don't. Why lie when truthfully you get caught in it? Then usually it's all off and shit. Uncaught for shit. Now I'm off the shit. Maybe lately what I've been facing got me crazy. No, I can't take it. Yeah. Maybe, 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 uh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe.